But the great thing about Cosmo is that he can actually help Hi, arm it to get rid of frustration, tension, and anger. Now, if he would have done Hi, what he normally does with you, I would address it. Send him to what I want him to be, and then move on from there. Well, thank you very much. Okay. It was very, very important. Yes. Very helpful. Very good. Absolutely. Yes. For mom and dad to be two weeks by one. And so, like, my new BFF. Oh, my oh I'm getting tired. What are you doing? Are you watching As that? for Cosmo and Boo, uh, they have been staying with friends. Until Caesar returns, this tale won't come to an end. So excited for you guys. Oh, thank you. Yeah. How's the dogs are coming along? You know, I think we're ready to be leaders. I mean, ever since we started working with them, they've become the followers, and uh, so I think funny. they're they're ready to submit. I'm glad I'm with you. So if yeah. both of you guys behave as pack leaders, she becomes automatically pack leader because it's a program in their brain that lets them know today we have a new member in the pack, and she becomes the new pack leader in the house. Okay, so this is it. We just you're just going in. Just walk in as you own your This is pretty kingdom. Awesome. That's this it. Is, yeah. So the baby is here and if one of them ha wanna come too close, you have to make them back away. They don't okay. come to you. Okay. Not yet. Okay. They have to wait until you make the decision for them to approach baby. Okay? Alright. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> I'm more excited. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thrilled. You know, babies create the greatest boost for parents. And these two parents, Victoria and Armit, are really becoming the type of pack leader they should be for their dogs. And the best thing about it is the baby is going to understand leadership from right now. Today was her first class of becoming pack leader. We want for them to, every time they see you with the baby, to go to the highest level of being gentle around. Okay. So they go, that's excitement. There we go. That's good. So the more, yeah. So the more you create the boundaries, the more they learn to do it from here. There we go. See that? That's distance. Not as much as I would like. Uh -huh. A little bit more distance. So you can create a, a, a bigger circle okay. just for them to come in. Over here. And eventually they're going to lower their head. There, that's good. Walk in. That's right. That's what dominant ones do. They walk in. The dogs could not be one level of excitement around Lorelei. Not one. From zero to ten, not one. Zero. Zero means calm, submissive state around her. This is what we want. This is ideal. What? What is? <laughs> what is yeah. this thing in your arms? So one of the other things that we can do is that we can. After you, you're uh, finished with one of one of her clothes, you can put her in different places without them seeing you putting it in the floor or in the couch. Okay. If they go and grab her and play with them, that's not good. Or if they go and grab her and then they pee on them, that's not good. Because <laughs> the, the brain is not yet conditioned to respect that scent. The whole point is they can't touch them? anything that is belong to baby. You see it? Yeah. Because that gives access to the baby to have respect from them. Are they allowed to get close and smell that piece of clothing and then no, walk away? No, 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 no.